Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Andy from BitBytes with a cool little achievement guide for Playdead's brand new game, Inside. So this video is going to cover all 1,000 achievement points for this game. The achievements are made up of 14 different secrets that you find, and the cool thing about this video is that it's completely interactive. So here you can see on the screen, here's all of the achievements in this game. You can go ahead and click on any one that you need, and you'll be brought to that section of this video that has that achievement. So I'm going to let this play for a couple more seconds. You guys can check and see which ones you want to click on. Or if you're going to go through all collectibles start to finish, that'll be starting shortly. So before we get started, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. If you really like the idea of this video, these interactive guides, please hit subscribe. There'll definitely be more in the future. Thanks for watching. So the first secret is going to be found in chapter 6. Right after you jump off the cliff into the water, you're going to want to swim to the left in the little opening, and you're going to come to this like open little cave area. Um, walk to the left, jump up on the ledge, and you're going to see this gigantic pillar that you can grab onto. So you're going to go over to the pillar, shake it a little bit, it'll fall over, make a bridge, jump over the bridge, and you'll get to the secret. Secret number two comes in the very next chapter, chapter seven. You're going to be walking through a cornfield, and you're not really going to see it, so you're going to want to hold in the action button. Uh, you're going to come across a like a door, uh, like a hatch on the ground. So your character will be walking, and all of a sudden he'll pick up a door. So you're going to open the door, go down this little uh, bunker area, and take the left. So you're going to come into a like dark room type thing, and you'll see the secret right there. So just break that. Now there's 70 points. Okay, so number three is going to be in chapter nine. Uh, it's right when you're jumping out of the farmhouse, when you jump onto the pile of dead pigs, the bin of them. You're going to want to pull the bin to the left up against the wall and jump on it, and there's going to be a loose plank of the wall. So you use the action button to pull the plank out, go into a room filled with more pigs, think they're living though, and uh, climb the rope, swing to the left side over the pillars. You're going to see the secret right there. Pull it out, another achievement. So the next achievement is going to be found in chapter 14, right after you climb that uh, wooden structure and drop the safe onto the floor to make a big hole. You're going to climb down, you're going to see the yellow electrical wires going into this vent to the left. So you're going to go to the left, pull the vent out, go into the other room, you're going to see the secret right there. So the very next collectible is going to be on chapter 16. You're going to be running across rooftops, and uh, when you come to a point where you're sliding down a roof and you jump off over a gap onto a pipe, it's going to be obvious that you have to climb up the pipe, but you see that yellow electrical wire, and it's heading down. So you're going to head down the pipe, you're going to see a ladder, jump over the ladder, just head down, so you're going to be right there, another 70 points. So the sixth collectible on this list could get a little complex. I think it starts on chapter 29. Um, you're going to be in your submarine, and you'll have just smashed through a red door with a wooden board over it. You're going to be in this room that kind of looks like a flooded stairwell, and you're going to see another red door that you could smash through. But instead of smashing through, you're going to want to go down and dislodge a box that's on the bottom of the floor. And you're going to go down and to the left for a while. And when you come to the surface, you're going to be able to see the secret in the background. And you also see a bunch of these mind control devices. So what you're going to want to do is get to the one that's at the top of the ladder to begin to control the first follower. And you're going to have him go and stand on top of your submarine. With him still on top of your submarine, you're going to go over to the right side and project yourself up so he attaches onto the other mind control device. So you're going to go back over to the first one. So you're controlling him, but he controls the guy in the background. And he's going to walk over and get the secret for you. There's a couple more secrets like that in this game, but this is probably one of the more, like, tedious ones. Alright, the seventh collectible is going to be on chapter 31, and uh, you're going to be in your submarine still, and you're going to see these wooden planks on the ceiling that you could smash through. So you're going to smash through them, and uh, instead of going right, you're going to head to the left, like you do a lot in this game. And you're eventually going to come across a couple pipes, but you can see a ladder there. So you're going to use your submarine to project yourself into the pipes and break them. And uh, after one or two hits, some platforms will fall down. You could get out of your submarine, onto the platform, onto the ladder, climb up, and the secret will be right there. So the A secret could be a little tedious, but it shows off a really, really cool part of the game that I like. Um, it takes place on chapter 34 during that puzzle where you have to get 20 guys to stand on the platform. So you're going to go through the puzzle like you normally would. Uh, you're going to start by going to the lower level to get the mind control device so you can actually gain the followers. 
and head over to the left side of the bottom floor where the giant minecart is. So you're going to drag that back with your followers and use the ropes to get over the minecart and on top of it. So once you're on top of it, your followers are going to actually push you because they're trying to get to you. They're going to push the minecart over to the left and you're going to use that to get to this new open area. Go all the way to the left of this open area and you're going to see some followers that are caged up. So you're going to use the blocks to unlock the caged followers like you would normally for this puzzle. But on your way back, you're going to see this like boarded up cave entrance. Uh, you need your followers to help you pull these planks out so you can get inside. And it'll lead to this, this cool looking cave and there's a torch on the walls. You're going to want to pick up the torch because wolves are going to follow you. So once the wolves start following you, just shine the torch in front of their faces to scare them off and slowly work your way to the left. All the way to the left is a secret. Uh, once you pull it, the wolves will run away. And you'll get the achievement and you'll be able to get back to your followers. The ninth collectible is found on chapter 44, right after you um, pass through that vault door into the big body of water and that like horrifying mermaid thing starts chasing you. So swim up to the platform and go all the way to the right to where the hatch is. Open up the hatch, jump in, and wait a minute because you're actually baiting the monster to come towards you. I think it's a monster. It's like It looks like a person, but it's, it's horrifying. So after it comes towards you near the right, go back up to the surface and run back to the left where you came. Jump into the water and keep swimming down to the left. That way you have enough of a head start to get to the secret area without that thing catching you. So it's just a straight path. When you come to the surface, you'll be in a secret room. Pull the sphere, unlock the achievement, then you can pull the vent out and you'll be in an area that you were right before the last section. So you could just backtrack and get on with the game. Okay, so the 10th secret could be found in chapter 46. After one of those things gives you the ability to breathe underwater for some reason... Um, you're going to swim up to the right through the building as you would just normally progressing through the level. After you make it through the building and, and you're out in that open area, uh, instead of going to the right where that circle opens up, you're going to swim down into the left until you find a door with a couple latches. So you're going to undo the latches and open up the door. Just swim up and to the left and it's a straight shot. You're going to see the secret hanging up in the top corner. Uh, pull it out and you get the achievement. You're going to find secret number 11 on chapter 48 during that puzzle where you have to rotate a platform underneath that swinging light to cast a shadow. So what you're going to want to do is go and rotate that platform until it's directly above you, like it's a clock that struck 12. It's high noon. Then after that, you're going to want to backtrack a little bit to the water um, just before that room. Then you're going to see there's a little gap in the water that you could actually swim down into a door. So just swim into the door and you'll come up to the surface and you'll see the secret right there. If you did not rotate the platform, you won't be able to reach the secret because that platform that the secret's on is attached to the one that you were rotating. So just hop on the platform, pull the secret, another easy 70 points. Secret number 12 is going to be on chapter 50. It's probably my favorite puzzle of the game. It's where you have to get that yellow box detached from its pole and uh, shoot it back up to the area where you were before. So once you get the yellow box back up to that open area, instead of pulling it to the left, you're going to push it to the right because you see a red button over to the right. So you're going to get on top of the box and shoot yourself up to the button, press the button, a platform's going to lower, get back on the box, do the same thing again, press the button when the platform raises up, jump over to the platform, the platform will raise you up and it'll be right in the room with the secret. Secret number 13 is the last semi-annoying secret that we have to find. It's going to be on chapter 54. It's another puzzle that involves using followers. It's the one where you have the three levels of the elevator. Um, so run around that area until you get as many followers as you can, and then run back into the elevator, but close the doors before all of your followers get in, so you have half of your followers in the elevator and half of them outside of the elevator. Then take the elevator down to the bottom floor so your followers are on top of the elevator. Now go back up to the middle floor and exit to the right. So exiting the elevator directly to the right, you might be able to see this yellow cable that you have to grab onto. It's it's behind a pillar, so you might not be able to see it uh, typically. So head over to it with half of your followers and have them boost you up to it. So climb up to the top and meet up with your other group of followers. Then head over to the left, and you'll see the secret hanging from the ceiling. So just have them boost you up and grab onto it, pull it down, and it's another achievement. Okay, so the final collectible in the game is found in Chapter 57, and I think you need all 13 other collectibles before this one becomes available. So you're going to come to this point where you're on this bridge, and you see a yellow ladder with all this yellow electrical wire around it. Jump onto the ladder and just climb up, and you're going to be in a small room and just keep running to the right. It's just a straight shot. You're going to come to this opening. It's like a field, 
and what looks to be like a spaceship, but it also kind of looks like a giant version of what you've been pulling, like all these secrets this whole time. So just head inside. You don't really see what's going on, but you could grab onto something, which I assume is just another secret. So just grab onto it, hold left, pull it out, and there's your last achievement. And you just thousand pointed this game, but there's still a lot left. You're still only just getting started with the third act, so just enjoy the rest of the game. I really like how they wrapped up the achievements before the game was over, because you just really get invested with the rest of the game, and it just gives you a chance to like relax and just play through it and enjoy it. So that's what you should do. Just enjoy your time with it. It is an awesome game. If you guys like this video, once again, please hit like, share it, and subscribe if you want to see more of these guides. I had a lot of fun making it. I'd love to make more, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.